it takes 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours within a 365 day period to become monetized on YouTube. What does that mean to be monetized? Well, it means you get ad revenue when you, they play these ads on your videos, you get a cut of it. Might not be much, a little bit here and there, but if you get 20,000 views, obviously you're gonna get more money than if you get 50 views, right? Simple math. Economics. I took an economics course. I know these things. So how do you get to 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours? Well, I've been watching a lot of videos. Boy, there's a lot of noise this morning. Anyway, and they give you a, an outline, a way to go on how to get these subscribers and watch hours. And then I've been watching other people's content specifically to see if they do those things. Some do, some don't. So I thought I'd try a few to see if it works. Yes, I'm gonna to get to my point. I know one of the things is you have to get to the point. Well, I'm gonna to get to the point in just a second. Relax. One of the things you're supposed to do is organize your thoughts. Look, there's my notes. I organized my thoughts. I wrote them down. Look, another thing you're supposed to do is you ready for it? You're supposed to have transitions. Transitions. You ready? I turned my cap around. That's a transition. Ready for another transition? I turned it back. Transitions. It's in the video. Another thing you're supposed to do is try to inject some humor into your video. You ready for it? Why was the lens crying? Because it realized it was no longer in its prime. That's a photography joke. Another tip the experts offer is to be creative. Look, these are my books. I've written real books, real books. They're published. Go to michael-cantwell.com and buy one. You'll see if I'm really creative or not. So I try to be creative. Even if it doesn't always come across in my videos, I try. Someone suggested recently that I put wild animals in my videos. Look, rosate spoonbills, wild animals. Another tip is supposed to be to use your hands, hands, have hands coming in and out. It's supposed to somehow connect more with your audience. I don't know. Here's my hands. Did it help? Hands. So why was the photographer arrested for taking nude photos? For indecent exposure, of course. Another tip they say is to add music to your video. You gotta have music, right? Ready? Wait for it. Music in my video. Another spoonbill, more wild animals. They say on YouTube, or one of the advice, pieces of advice is, content is king. You have to provide good content to get a lot of views. Well, I was flipping around the other night on YouTube and a video caught my eye because it was created by someone who obviously lives right near me because the first scene was him pulling out of the parking lot 
of the beach that I go to to shoot the sunrises and my moon rises. So I recognize the, beat, the, the uh, bushes straight out. And he makes a left out of the parking lot. And I assume he's filming on his cell phone. And he has the cell phone up against the dashboard. But it's pointing straight ahead. Right at the road. And he's describing, hey, boy, that looks beautiful on the left where all the water is. And hey, look at those mansions on the right. Isn't that beautiful? And you can't see anything but the road. But he has thousands of views. Thousands. And you don't see anything but a road. I created a few videos on how to stitch images and how to get some haze out of your photos. I get 30 views and I'm not sure, but I could have sworn I heard people yawning. This guy sticks his cell phone in the window, drives down the road, and gets 10,000 views. Mind you, you don't see the mansions. You don't see the water. You see the road. So tell me again how content is king. So what other magical things happen should you get monetized on YouTube? Well, funny things happen like all the top photographers, or many of them, on YouTube, within the same week or two, make videos with the same yellow Shimoda bag. Hmm. Now, did they all go out and buy that same yellow Shimoda bag all in the same week? Hmm. I guess the YouTube algorithm sent them all a bag. Probably not. You get perks, like companies send you stuff for free. You might have to say a little word about them, but you get a lot of free stuff. And after doing that video, at least to this point, I got the mail and I still don't have my yellow Shimoda bag. My backpack. I have a Shimoda bag. I bought it with my own money. I paid for it. My own money. They didn't send me one. But now that I added music and got creative and did transitions, I mean, I flipped my head around, my hat around. I told a couple jokes. I even included wild animals. I want my bag. Another video I did was the differences between self-publishing traditional publishing and I mean I spent a lot of time working on that video a lot of time and it was full of great content if I say so myself without sounding too conceited but it was a good it was a good video with a lot of good content I got like 20 views picked up one subscriber maybe two guy puts his cell phone in the dashboard of his car, drives down the middle of the road and gets thousands of views. I don't know. And the most important thing they say is, get to the point. Well, I think I had gotten to the point all along. And that is, I tried to be creative. I gave you content, maybe without you even knowing it. What I really wanted to discuss, though, in all seriousness, is that when I started this channel, it was to share some photographic knowledge, and I wasn't really concerned about a thousand subscribers and four thousand watch hours, or even really what the algorithm was. I learned that long ago from my writing, in that if you try to write for other people, you're not going to like it very much. It, at least me. I have to write for myself. And I've come to the conclusion that when I make these videos that usually are about photography, I, I can't necessarily say that I'm making them for myself because I'd like to offer some information, some content, if I can. 
to make it worth while uh, for you watching these videos but I can't get consumed my neighbors cutting the grass of course I can't get consumed with how many subscribers am I going to get from this I want to say this in a delicate way because there are people there are photographers on YouTube who are very good at creating videos hands using hands that doesn't necessarily mean that they're great photographers there are some that can create really good videos and are really good photographers and I'm not going to name names you know who they are you you have your favorites and and I have mine but but I I do it it I'm going to be honest with you it it did frustrate me and it's still to this day call it jealousy call it whatever you want to call it I'm trying to get over it and that's one of the reasons why I'm making this video is because there's probably some of you that feel the same way I do in that like the guy who drove down the road <laughs> with his pointing his cell phone at the road and gets thousands of views and he's monetized and I'm out there going to Alaska and trying to make videos and and trying to do real photography and I get a hundred views and you go what or you see other photographers that really aren't that good at photography and quite frankly their videos aren't even really that good I mean you know create not I would say creatively but um, cinematically mine aren't aren't on the level of of the upper guys I know that I don't put the money into it I don't have the drones I don't have all that other stuff and that's all well and good that's why they get the Shimoda bags and I don't okay I understand that I'm not jealous of that they work hard and they deserve it but I see other people that just put out these videos that are quite frankly they're not that good and at the end they show their images and at least to me they're horrible images and they've got 10,000 subscribers and they've got all these views and I'm thinking what am I doing wrong here so I just wanted to do this parody video and try to input some of the things that they say you have to do in order to get subscribers and viewers but in the end I've decided I just have to go back making the videos that I want to make right if people want to watch them thank you if people want to subscribe look I'm using my hands to ask you please 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 like and subscribe but if you don't you don't and I can't get caught up in that anymore I can put out try to put out some consistent videos when I can come up with some ideas and hopefully you'll enjoy it if not maybe I'll go back to writing my books I probably will anyway so until next time thanks for watching take good care of yourselves please like and subscribe okay see ya wild animals